It is time now for Ask the Expert. What do heart disease, osteoporosis, diabetes, and weight gain all have in common? They are all associated with magnesium deficiency. A registered dietitian, Lori Meyer, is here to tell us more about that connection and why we are so deficient in magnesium. I mean, it's not something you you think of. Because it's not one of those nutrients that's talked about. We, we talk about potassium, everybody knows eat a banana, get potassium. We talk about calcium. We don't really talk about magnesium, but it's as important, if not more important, than some of these other minerals mm. because it's it's so involved in the body. But they're finding at least 68% of us are deficient in magnesium. That's conservative numbers. And part of the reason is that we eat so many processed foods. Mm. And when you process a food, you end up removing the magnesium. Our soils are not as rich in magnesium as they used to be in a lot of the fertilizers are not adding it so that could be adding to it but then look at all the drugs and medications that people take right. and many of the drugs are going to block magnesium we're not going to be able to utilize it same if you're overdoing calcium a lot of people will take a calcium supplement may not take magnesium or enough magnesium and that's going to block the, the um, magnesium as well and then certain diseases if you have chronic disease your body is just going to use more more magnesium so we can see it, we, it really is becoming more of a problem so if you are deficient what are some of the the symptoms well, there are quite a few symptoms that you would think, well, you know, that could be anything. But, and I say if you have enough of these, you want to really kind of take a look at this. We're finding that magnesium, it's so critical in so many enzyme activities and metabolic activities involved with insulin utilization, involved with using our, our food and, and with obesity. So some of these symptoms of ringing in the ears, I mean, you could have that. It doesn't necessarily mean magnesium, but it could be irregular heartbeat. That's a huge one for magnesium if you get any arrhythmias. Uh, kidney stones can be another big one. A lot mm. of people think it's too much calcium. Sometimes it's not enough magnesium. Um, weight gain in particular. Magnesium, if you don't have enough of it, it um, is not going to suppress the obesity gene. And so then uh, that gene can end up expressing migraine headaches or just regular headaches, insomnia, muscle cramps and spasms, that's a huge one for magnesium, anxiety, depression, I mean, there's a lot of things. It's also really involved with brain chemistry and uh, detoxification. So it's, it's really, really an important mineral that we've been kind of, kind of skipping and missing. Mm. All right, last 30 seconds, let's run through some of the things we can bring into our diets well, to bring magnesium into our systems. There, there are actually quite a few things that you can eat. If you like nuts and seeds, good mm -hmm. because those are some of the best sources. I, pumpkin I was seeds. surprised to see I this right I have some here. watermelon seeds, um, sunflower seeds. Any seed is going to contain magnesium and also almost all nuts. Almonds and Brazil nuts have the highest amounts. But then we get to some of the whole grains and my favorites for this are going to be quinoa and amaranth, also buckwheat, but some of these more ancient grains, they have really high magnesium levels. Beans, black beans in particular, your leafy green spinach is one of the highest fish. of those. Fish does, and the highest fish is halibut. So all you halibut lovers, make sure that you eat some halibut. And then quickly chocolate. And then chocolate. I mean, it's, it, it contains magnesium. A lot of people think, oh, I'm craving chocolate. I must be magnesium deficient. Well, you probably are because, <laughs> most, you're just of, because most of us are. Because it doesn't really sure. have that much, but there is still a little bit of magnesium. So if it makes you feel better to eat your chocolate and say, I'm getting my magnesium, Go ahead. All right. Do it. When, Lori, we go to, when we go to commercial here, I'm going to work on my magnesium deficiency. <laughs> Got a question? Here's how you do it. Send an email or leave a voicemail at that number right there on your screen.